This video is for training purposes only and should not be used as a replacement for any technical publication. Honeywell recommends the use of any of the following greases in aircraft wheel bearings. Intermix of different types of wheel bearing grease is not permitted in same wheel assembly. After wheels have been disassembled and cleaned, inspect bearings for any defects, such as corrosion, etching from trapped water and lubricant, roller smearing, roller wear, pitting, or grooves and rollers from contamination. Also inspect for excessive heat from severe operation. Right here on this one, it does have some dents and whatnot, so I'm going to have to go ahead and reject it. Check bearing cage for wear, dents, burrs, and roller ends for being polished and scored. Lubrication by pressure methods is highly recommended since it is easier, faster, reduces the possibility of contamination, and when employed correctly, assures an even amount of grease within the critical areas. Wipe a film of grease over the rollers. Upon completion, do not place the bearings where the grease may become contaminated with moisture or other foreign matter. When pressure lubrication equipment is not available, apply lubricant to the bearing by hand. Lubricate by placing a sizable amount of clean, moisture-free grease in the palm of one hand. Grasping the bearing in the other, and proceeding to force grease between the rollers. When applying grease by hand, it should be applied at the large end of the bearing and forced to the small end. Ensure that the roller paths are amply covered. Wipe a film of grease over the rollers. Upon completion, do not place the bearing where the grease may become contaminated with moisture or other foreign matter. Apply a thin film fully covering the exposed bearing cup with the same type of grease used on the cone and rollers. Intermix of different types of wheel bearing grease is not permitted in the same wheel bearing assembly. The grease used to lubricate the wheel bearings, grease seals, and bearing cup surfaces must all be the same. In addition, any grease used to lubricate axle sleeves or axle sleeve lands must be the same as the bearing grease used to lubricate the wheel bearings. Grease seals, bearings, and bearing cups must be thoroughly cleaned prior to re-greasing. This concludes our video on standard practices for repacking wheel bearings. This video is for training purposes only and should not be used as a replacement for any technical publication.